happy RTX. Yeah. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. And thank you for joining us at this uh, Red versus Blue Back to Basics. Uh, so my name is Jen. I am Jen Tidwell. I'm the producer of Red vs. Blue. I, I'm, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Joshua Kazemi. I'm a writer and director on Red vs. Blue. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Joshua Nellis. I am a, one of the machinima directors for Red vs. Blue. Uh, my name is Austin Clark. I'm a machinimator for Red vs. Blue. Hi, I'm Eddie Rivas. I am the writing supervisor for RT Animation. That light is very bright. <laughs> don't walk into it. No, not yeah. at all. Oh, uh, well, thank, again, thank you guys for coming. I hope you enjoyed our little introductory video. Uh, that's uh, if you guys saw the YouTube channel yesterday, you saw it like the updated art where we did, like, we are like, new series, and everybody was like, oh, Halo Infinite. <laughs> um, so that's what that is. Um, we're making, in, in addition to the PSAs, which we will talk a little bit about later, we will also be making this new uh, short form Q&A style show. And Josh, do you want to talk yeah. a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I should start with maybe like one of the most successful pitches in my experience where Eddie slacked me and was like, hey, we want to do a Q&A show where it's like, it's Griffin Simmons meets Troy and Abbott in the morning. You gotta sing it, sing it. <laughs> I was like, I can't do that. <laughs> it's too much pressure. But I was like, I'm sold, say no more. That's just inside me. I, I have that already. I'm such a huge community fan. So it was really fun to work on this series and like get a chance to like actually try to answer some questions and put it in that weird format. It's like, it's a sh such a short run time, but you have to check so many of these boxes. It's like such a fun, creative challenge. But I thought it was such a great idea, and we've been having a blast putting it together. And Austin's done a fantastic job with that. So I'm really happy to, uh, I can't wait for y'all to see the rest of them. They're really fun. Yeah, yeah and I think uh, part, of the, part of the kind of birth of all that idea, it, it wasn't my idea. I mean, I'd love to sit here and take credit for it. I probably should have. Um, <laughs> but the, I, I know that like kind of the, the birth of that idea was around right being able to have more regular content with Red, red versus Blue, um, right to be able to have a way to kind of interact with the community a lot more, um, right, and then to kind of get out some of these old characters and, and dust them off a little bit and kind of put them back out there, and then also right to be able to develop um, right something that we could start to do in Infinite and learn some things with it, right, rather than all the growing pains coming in something that was bigger and more, you know. Um, you know, finding out, finding out the growing pains now as opposed yeah. to in the middle of like production of something bigger. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Austin, you've been doing a lot of the research on machine animating in Halo Infinite. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's, um, there's definitely been some challenges with Infinite lately. Um, you know, the, the, if any machine animators are out there, you'll know like a lot of the kind of tools that we use for Infinite aren't quite in the game yet. Um, and so we've kind of had to rely on uh, different glitches and kind of uh, uh, w more workarounds to, uh, to make what we've been making. Um, but I've been pretty, pretty happy with how it's all turned out so far. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just like when we were first starting out, you would just send me things and be like, so I found uh, just, I saw somebody on Reddit that was like, do they know about the gun down glitch? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought to myself, yes, <laughs> we do. Um, so just Austin sending all of us like, I found another way to work around it. And I was like, okay, maybe we'll try that one. And then he's like, I found another way to work around it. I was like, like okay. step by step, we could get one gun down. Now we can get two guns down. Now three, all right, we're in business, you know. <laughs> oh, we got three? Uh, well, actually, up to four, I think, right now. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, four, 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 shit. This technology. <laughs> and with movie magic, we can get maybe like five. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I think some, some people might want to ask or are asking themselves, like, will there be other characters besides Griffin Simmons in Key versus A? 
there will be. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Um, that's part of the fun of it. It's like, who, who do we want to invite into this weird world? <laughs> I mean, that's well, RVB. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think, I mean, I think yes. maybe there's only one, or I can't remember, I shouldn't promise, but most of the ones I've written have included other characters, so you'll definitely How many see Caboose time. episodes can you promise right now? <laughs> <laughs> More than one. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to keep trying to put you on the spot for the rest great. of the panel. <laughs> that's Make you commit to that things. End, like, that's the chaos end, and this is the order end. Yeah. Ooh, I like being in the middle of that spectrum. Uh, I think actually that, um, I was like, are we on the right side for that? But no. Uh, what was another thing that I wanted to say about Keepers to Say? The name, maybe? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we... It was originally called Grimmins, and then we were like, no, we don't want to take that from the audience, because it's like, <laughs> we know what that means. <laughs> so we don't want to like appropriate that from y'all. So every episode, they just come up with a random new name, and like we were doing that because we couldn't figure out yeah. what we wanted to call the show, so Josh, as he was writing them, just kept giving them new names, and we were like, no, just trolling let's, just, everybody. let's just keep doing that. And so we just kept doing it. So there's... So, you know, a dozen different names of the show. <laughs> but yeah, the official title is Key versus A, and I don't remember who threw that out there, but we were like, yeah, that works. It works. Every episode is a ship, ship name. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> they, if, if, I think every episode is like a light novel name. <laughs> <laughs> they, get, they get pretty long. <laughs> they do. <laughs> and uh, I guess the big thing is like, will we be taking questions from the audience? Like for real, for real, like we said we were. We would like to, yeah. Like a lot of them are basically things we found on Reddit or Twitter, and we were like, oh, people ask that. And then we made questions around that a little bit, but we would love to see questions from you guys directly. Like, totally. Comment the, on our videos. And, oh, sorry, I totally yeah, interrupted. It. It's chaos down here. The, chaos, <laughs> I will send to the chaos. The more inappropriate the username, the better. <laughs> <laughs> What was the one from the Ruby panel? In the Ruby panel, we answered a question from someone named Milfology. <laughs> and then it became my goal to say the word Milfology as many times as I could <laughs> from the rest of the panel. Sure. Now somebody's going, like, if please have some that are not that, but yes. <laughs> I will take it. Um, so... Griffology. Griffology. That's a great, That's one. A great one. Can we yeah. steal that? Not, not as, write that not as can fun. We, can we take that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, write that down. Yeah. <laughs> then I think... Oh yeah, another question that we wanted to bring up was like, how has it been working with Machinima in the pandemic, Josh and Austin? It's been different. <laughs> <laughs> what are your feelings? Hey Josh, what, what do you think? I, I, I live in, a, in an apartment, as people do. <laughs> you know, it's a box with a bed and, you know, some other things. I guess I eat there sometimes, but uh, it's filled with work stuff. And I roll out of bed, and it's like there's Xboxes. And I have to do machinima <laughs> for red versus blue. <laughs> I mean, it's not all bad. It's like, okay, I, as soon as I'm done with it, I get to play games and stuff like that. But still, it's like, it's a, it's a weird experience to kind of just, like, have it there. Um, I but yeah, it takes up a lot of space, but you know, mm -hmm. it is what it is, yeah. I kind of wish we were doing it over the winter and I could save my heating bills. Yes. The amount of just <laughs> five Xboxes running in a small little room. Um, but yeah, no, it's been fun. Uh, you know, it took a little getting used to not being able to like, be like, oh, this scene, you know, I need three controllers moving. Hey, Josh, can you grab one real quick? Not having that and being able to, and having to kind of find creative ways around that. Um, because it's all from home. Yeah. We, we've gotten pretty good at moving like multiple characters at like the same time. Usually, like it'll be like no effort for like three, but sometimes it's like oh, okay, we need like all five things to move at once. And like, have you used your feet yet? Not yet. Okay, no, no that's, that's, the, that's the next level. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to make a foot chuck if you didn't. So thank you for <laughs> saving me from doing that. Foot stuff with Griff and Simmons. <laughs> Right. Write, that down. write that down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Fitness. This is great. Griffin Simmons. <laughs> True. Let's do a whole fair. episode on fetishes. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. See, see, this is why we really had this panel, so that we can finish out the season. Yeah. <laughs> Brainstorm. Thank with you. With ideas. Give them to us. 
Um, I think we have some merch. Do we want? Do we want to go to the merch slides? Merch slides. We've got merch slides. I'm looking at myself. What's yeah, happening? Just looking at myself. <laughs> looking at myself. There we go. There oh, there's is. a thing right. Oh no, that's not right. actually our thing. Um, so yeah, we've got some. I'm actually Eddie's supposed to be the one doing the merch. I'll shut up. <laughs> oh, I'm doing all the merch. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold on. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, uh, that pop yeah we have so all cool. this new stuff that we've got here, and I'm just vamping right now until I can find the thing that I'm talking about, because I was only thinking I was going to talk about one thing. A plus vamping. I asked you, I'm such a good I vamper. asked you if you wanted me to write it down in the run of show, and you said no. Well, because nah. I thought I was just talking about the one thing, and then, you know. Fair enough. Okay. Um, <laughs> so those middle two, you know, we've got uh, the middle two with uh, Griff and the Popsick. Uh, RVB. So cool. Those are RTX ex exclusives. So if you guys really like that, I love that Popsick one. Um, mm -hmm. Go to the store, grab them. Oh, somebody's holding it up. I don't know who you are. I can't see you. <laughs> Looks great. Hey. Amazing. And we do have some. We do have some stuff that we will be throwing to the audience as well. So. <laughs> and yeah, we got that cool enamel pin. They were just like, what? Should, what are some cool? Uh, what are some cool like RVB quotes that we can put on a pin? And we're like, uh, that's the one we know. Yeah. <laughs> are, just it? Should we, are, are we just like <laughs> just throwing shit? Like, I, I mean, if you want to, go ahead. Well, now I'm holding these shirts. Plastic. You're, no, you're holding, holding it. Oh, what? Hands up. All right, I'm just gonna. Yeah, come on. Oh, that was a good throw. All right. <laughs> All right, heads oh. up. This is a. I can't tell. Somebody figure it out. Oh wait, wait. Oh, nice. In the front, in the front. This is hey, fine. Hey, there you go. Are, are, are we going to just bust it all? Just, just throw that throw entire bag. Easy. Well, is it pins. stuff that we even have? No, we should throw pins. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. Sorry. Let <laughs> 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 just open it up. There they go. <laughs> Great folly. Make sure, make sure we get oh, some. Yeah, we get some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> Hey, nice. Hey, nice. Hey. Awesome. Hell yeah. Wonderful. Hello. That's again. great. Oh, we still have other? Oh, man. <laughs> I have to keep unlocking my phone. <laughs> I don't even know if that was the plan. We just threw everything out. <laughs> yeah. Again, Were we chaos. supposed to do that? Yes. <laughs> someone, someone threw my mask out there. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh -oh. No, no. One okay. <laughs> I, was, I was like this Don't close put it on. to just taking the entire box of just doing this. <laughs> they really need to provide us with cannons. Yeah. But it's fine. <laughs> that, that would work too. It was much easier to throw the ones that were still in the packaging. Yeah, for sure. Those just flew. Oh, oh you're... Um, yeah, we've got another box. There though. we go. But yeah, we've got some more stuff to show off that Eddie does know about. I feel I feel bad that I started more chaos by completely failing on a thing that I had agreed to do. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> I can talk about this stuff. Uh, we actually we announced this during the during the Ruby panel. Uh, but we've partnered with somebody that does these very cool. Jen, if you could say the name for me. Um, I can't. No? No, because you were... <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Sean? Arno Vision. Arno Vision. There we go. Partnered with, I was about to say the wrong name, and I knew it was wrong. Uh, but we partnered with Arno Vision uh, to do these very cool, um, like, shadow box type things. And we've got a bunch of these for so RBB. Cool. It's hard to focus here. on it. This one is super cool. Look at that. Oh. And yeah, so That's we got the awesome. classics, and then that awesome, awesome Sarge shadow box. Yeah. But so, yeah, I want to say that these are. <laughs> I want to say that these are. They're on the floor, and yes. you can go ahead and shop for these here at RTX. So yeah, these yes. are very cool. No. <laughs> dangling. We cannot. I'm sorry. I, I kind of want to. I'm afraid we're going to break it. Yeah. It is very cool. Like whenever we were like figuring out what we wanted to do for them, and somebody was like, "What about that Sarge shirt? That's already made to be like spread out like that." And we're like, "Oh, that would look amazing." 
It's a great design. Um, then I think the next thing we want, ooh, there's like a certificate on the back. Ooh. They come with like a certificate of authenticity on the back. Pretty cool. Eddie, the name was on the back. You couldn't read it? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I'm so, I'm so bad, y'all. Oh, man. <laughs> it's all right here. <laughs> This is why they don't ask me to do this stuff. <laughs> I specifically, as soon as he came in, I was like, you're doing this part. He's like, okay. Great. I was like, yeah, I got that. <laughs> uh, but we can, sh if you're tired of listening to us ramble on, we can listen to some other people ramble on if we want to play uh, PSA. Yes, please. <laughs> Time for more graphology. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You heard it here first. Mm -hmm. Roll the clip. Uh, Please don't actually annoy them. <laughs> <laughs>
Lopez could just dub every voice. I th no, I actually thought that this morning. I did. I was like planning what I was going to say about it, and I was like, I mean, we could just have Lopez do every voice. Yeah. And then I realized I was volunteering Eddie for something, which is fine. <laughs> Can you spend the next three months of your life <laughs> dubbing all of RVB yeah. in Spanish? That sounds fun. <laughs> Tell yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that would be, that'd be really fun. <laughs> because you're really in the dubbing world right now. <laughs> yeah, with yeah. Ooh, a lot of dubbing going on. But, but yeah, so we've got PSAs, and we've got Key versus A. Um, but what comes after that? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, no. <laughs> um, so we, we are planning some things for the 20th anniversary. Man. Which is next year. That's wild. <laughs> From 2003 to 2023. But in terms of what we can share right now, we unfortunately we, we can't give you guys any, any teases or whatever, but as, as the year goes on, like there are a lot of PSAs that, that'll take us through the year, um, but we are planning while those are running a lot of things in the background. So it's, I think 2023 will be a great year to be an RVB fan. So hope you guys stick, stick around with us. Yeah, it really is wild just to think about like how far, I mean, I'm not sure what everybody kind of in this room or on this panel, like what their introduction to RVB like even was, but just even thinking about like my introduction to RVB was all the way back in 2003. It was, I was in college and there were people like sharing a bunch of videos at a LAN party and I found a folder that was RVB and started looking at it. And it was, it probably wasn't RVB because I don't think anyone probably referred to it at that point uh, as RVB. But it was, I think it was only three or four episodes in. Like in the first season, they take a break for E3 around episode four or five or something like that. And I remember they released like a, a uh, little quick video that was like, oh, you know, we uh, were taking a break for E3, so there was like a fake episode or something. But that was, that was when I started watching Red vs. Blue, so it's wild um, all these years later that we're now planning content for the 20th anniversary and trying to, like, have fun with it and honor as much of everything that came before it as we, like, possibly can. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what everybody else's intro to the series was, but, yeah, yeah mine was all the way back then. Do you guys want to talk about your intros to the series? Sure, we can. Uh, I, I think I started watching season eight or so because I was like eight years old, I think, when, <laughs> when the actual show started. Um, yeah, no, I think season eight. I think it was right, right before they, they started uh, animation and all that. Uh, fell in love with it, wanted to work on the show, eventually did. Uh, and yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I found some videos on the internet and I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's yeah, it. basically it. Yeah. Mm -hmm playing games with some friends and then, you know, passing around that, those videos. That was basically it. Yeah, 2003, it's crazy. It reminds me of, I don't know if y'all seen this meme format <laughs> that's going around. It's like, this intern was born in 2000, it was 22, but I was born in 1991 and I'm also 22. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. That's what it feels like. It's crazy that it's been 20 years of RVB. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I distinctly remember and I've also told the story to like Matt and stuff and I was like yeah when I was a child and he was like what <laughs> um, but like I was what 11 when the show came out and I was upstairs you know the same age right yeah I, I so. was 12 oh, okay yeah um, close enough close but I was upstairs playing like an N64 or something and my brother comes up and he's like you've got to come watch this video that mm -hmm. I found on the internet and I like walked downstairs and we watched it it was the first episode and it's like cheese you know like i never never expected to work at rooster teeth let alone work on rvb and it's been it's been really great i love working with you guys oh yeah it's so <laughs> and like i really do want to give a shout out to uh ornelas and austin because like they really advocate for the fans and they really care about the show and they care about all of you guys and so really Big round of applause for them.
I yeah, did I'm not curious. tell them I was going to do that. Oh, sorry. No, it's just I wasn't going to. I didn't tell them I was going to do that. So. Oh, no, I, I, I almost asked this earlier, but I'm really curious for for y'all. Like, what um, what are the weirdest things that y'all have found with kind of infinite, or like, what are some of the challenges working around it? Just like I'm sure every time starting from scratch in a new right in a new engine is always uh, pretty daunting. Like, I don't even know how you approach that. Yeah, I mean, it's especially right now because like it's still being updated constantly. You know, hopefully things will get a little bit like smoother and everything. Right now, the biggest like you know, usually the way that we shoot is we have a director box that is our camera, you know, flying through and we capture that one. And then eight or so, you know, uh, other consoles that are actors. Well, currently we can't actually do that. We have to like actually capture all four quadrants of one split screen in order to actually have things work. Um, so yeah, like figuring all that out, it's been a big challenge uh, is, is interesting, yeah. Are there things that you like really miss that you are like, oh, can we please have this back? <laughs> Forge right now is a big one, I think. Yeah, Be yeah. Being able to just like build whatever you want. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I got. I feel like every iteration of Halo that we ever have, um, there's always like, I, I find that there's a question of like which uh, like game is best to like machine made in, and the answer is yes, all of them. <laughs> because they all have something really really good, and then they all have something that I wish I could just like claw my eyes out with, but like still, <laughs> it's like. I think Infinite, so far what we've seen, um, especially like support from dev side and everything has been pretty good. So I'm excited to see what they come out with, especially like, you know, anything like Forge wise, if they do, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You stole one of the questions from the Q&A, Eddie. Oh, did I? Yes. It's a frequently asked. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We were going to get to know. eventually. <laughs> um, I, yes? No, we aren't, but I just looked out and saw your hand was up, so. <laughs> we jumped the gun a little bit. Um, I mean, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Those, those have not been, no, those have not been discussed. So, sorry about that. I'm sorry that I put you on the spot <laughs> to tell you no. No worries. No worries, dude. Thank you. Thank you for asking, though. I think we can probably say that, um, right, just like the, the Halo Paramount TV series or whatever is, uh, has, it's like kind of its own timeline. We can just probably say right now that red versus blue is part of an official timeline. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm just making this up. <laughs> you heard it here. You heard it. Yeah. Yeah, he said it. <laughs> Not it me. Is, it is the red timeline. Chaos side. <laughs> He's the chaos side. It's fine. I was trying to make through as much of that as I could, but I was like, no, I don't want to say something that I get fired for. <laughs> like, I'm just looking over at Sean right now. <laughs> Sean's all about it. <laughs> Sean is another person I would like to shout out. Also, you guys have been in the community taking, uh, talking to Sean a lot. He's also a huge advocate for the, for the brand. So thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Speaking of huge advocates for RT and the RT community, there is one thing that I would like the audience to do for us. Eddie, do you have your phone? Mm -hmm. I, do, I remember this one. Yeah, this, this part he remembers. <laughs> um, I wrote it on the run of show so that I wouldn't forget. Um, if you guys would not mind, I don't know how many of you know Chelsea Atkinson. Unfortunately, she was not able to make it to RTX. So if you guys wouldn't mind wishing her well. Thank you guys so much. Awesome. We would not be here without Chelsea. Chelsea is so amazing, and I know you guys love her as much as we do. So thank you so much. 
but now I will get to the Q and A. We did a Twitter. We did a not was it Twitter or like a like a like a. I think it was Twitter. Yes. yes. Thank you. Again, Twitter. we need y'all. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I've got some questions here that we got from Twitter. Is there a particular scene of RVB that just constantly lives in your head? Josh? <laughs> this, I, I apologize in advance. It's not a good answer, but it's just the truth. Like, I, was, I, was, I saw that question earlier today, and the, the scene that's in my head that I can't, I want to get it rid, get rid of it out of my head. It's but it's it's seared into their my, my brain and it's it's Cyclops Gus, <laughs> that haunting image of Cyclops Gus. Like for some reason, I remember seeing Gus in that getup like around the office before that episode aired, and I wasn't involved in RBB at the time, so it was just like that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> and then to see it, yeah, that's that's in there. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> I, I do have a funny story about Cyclops Gus. Not, uh, I mean, not Gus and the Cyclops thing, but uh, Joe Nicolosi um, was the writer-director of that season, um, and he kept the prosthetic Cyclops thing. <laughs> he just kept it. And so it was, uh, it was in our writer's room, and uh, at the time, uh, me, Joe, Miles, and Carrie uh, all, shared, all shared an office there, and one of the things that Joe liked to do was to tear off flaps of the skin Ugh. and, like, hide it. Uh, in places, uh. <laughs> in places in the office, and so you might like lift up your keyboard and see the flap of like one of the uh. <laughs> like Cyclops <laughs> flaps of skin hanging out under there, or he would like stick it like uh, he would like put it in people's lunches. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just like you could just like open up anything. I think one time I had a coffee mug, and then he had dumped out all the coffee and put the, <laughs> and put the Cyclops <laughs> flap of skin in there. Um, so yeah, that was that was always a thing when uh, Joe Nicolosi was around the office. Is he loved to hide the Cyclops Gus skin suit wow. in different different spots? Is that is that going to be your answer too? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe now. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys have any that you wanted to some, something that from RVB that you just can't get rid of? Um, for me, almost anything from um, right, almost anything from Reconstruction. Uh, that's like, that's like all my, like, uh, season, maybe I just, did I just call it the wrong thing? Did I just brain fart? Season six. Whatever season six is. Recollection. Uh, okay, good. I'm like, I wrote, I wrote the book on this. I should know, I should know what these things are called. We use like, that joke a lot, too. <laughs> but no, uh, I love, I love so much stuff from that season. I love the, like, the memory is the key stuff is always uh, really big in my head. I love uh, the introductions of the of the meta, I love the, that was the worst grenade throw ever of all time, <laughs> the seed. There's like so much from that season in particular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's so much stuff from that season in particular that, that, that loops in my head. It's, it's my favorite one uh, of the entire series, I think. Yeah, anybody else? Any favorite? You stole my answer about, the, uh, about, about the spike grenade, the worst throw yeah. ever of all time. It's, it's such a, like a, a good scene because it encapsulates everything that's RVB right yes. then and there. Um, I think for me particularly, because it's, it's, a, it's a consequence of just the, the reason why we were working on this specific thing and like how it came about, is the Sarge 2, Sarge Harder PSA. <laughs> <laughs> so Kyle, and Miles, wherever Miles is, he's in the ether. But like, we, we will always talk about like how we had such a tight deadline bringing up everything, and we needed to kick that PSA out like in like 12 hours. And we we're like, yep, all right, there we go. And then we like sat there, like crazed off, probably like I don't know how many cups of coffee. Like we we didn't know if it was legitimately funny or if we were just delirious. <laughs> But we got it out, and I think it's legitimately funny, so I, I hope so. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good one. I think, um, I, I mean, I, I watched this as a fan, the, the ending of season 11, when uh, you know, they, they have the big battle, and then Locus comes out and uh, takes out Sarge and Wash. For me, that was like an emotional gut punch, uh, and it always is. Uh, and we were lucky enough to kind of recreate that in season 17, uh, and that was cool to work on. Uh, yeah, I really like that scene. Mine is, I have two, and one of, and they're both just because I love how Jeff performs Griff. And the first one isn't even from RBB proper, it's from, do you guys remember the Fortnite announcement video? <laughs> when he just goes, Master Chief is coming to Fortnite! 
And I had to hear that so many times because I produced that episode. And I just keep hearing, Master Chief is coming to Fortnite. Um, the other one is also Jeff performing as Griff. And it's, um, it's the scene where the kids, and this is cheating because I'm one of the kids, where Lindsay, Billy, and I are those kids that are like, tell him that the pizza place is gone. And he doesn't, he, they're like, what, what's pizza? And he's just like, what's pizza? And then he just like goes off, pepperoni, mozza, da 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 and it just. Calzone? Yeah. <laughs> Unfolded calzone? Gross. <laughs> yeah. And then I came to RTX that year and I was like eating pizza and some guy came up to me and he was like, is that an unfolded calzone? <laughs> and I was like, hello? And he's like, you know, it's an RVB joke. I was like, I oh, know. <laughs> I just didn't expect anybody to tell me that right now. <laughs> um, yeah, that's my, that's my I've, I've got another funny memory from the, the Fortnite thing, which I hope this isn't something that gets me fired <laughs> after talking about. Hi, Sean. <laughs> <Jump into this. laughs> But I think I think it's fine, right? Uh, so we had to work with a lot of partners on that on on that one, right? Because there was a lot of interested parties and in, right presenting this information. And Sarge is trying to move the bus, and he says masculine style. And the note that we got back at one point, they're like, "Is he saying Mexican style?" I remember this. <laughs> And I just imagine what that meeting was like if they all in the room thought that he was saying Mexican style. And then it was like, we gotta give them this note, guys. <laughs> Why did they put this in our Fortnite app? And then we had to re-record Sarge just to make it a little bit more clear that he was indeed saying masculine style. The another part of that was, um, you know Griff flosses at the end of that episode? Originally, that was not the dance he was going to do, and then we changed it, but then we had we mocapped it, and I had to mocap the dance that it originally was. And then they were like, "Oh no, we can't do that. It has to be a different one." And I was like, "Okay." And then I got in my car, and me like I had to drive to work and get. And then so that's me flossing. <laughs> and the the person who animated it, she was like, "Oh man, this is never letting this go." <laughs> it's just like <laughs> there's video evidence that no one shall, one shall ever see. Amazing. I, I love all the buildup of like driving to work, getting on the mocap suit, getting everything set up, and then getting and just. That's all it was. <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna go home. <laughs> it's like it For took real. me way longer to get there than to, to do the actual thing. <laughs> but that question was by Genstream, so thank you for that. No relation. Thank goodness it wasn't just getting sure you in the walls. Is that the like protect me? Is that that's the text fight, right? That's a Cyclops. Cyclops. Oh, okay. Cyclops, yeah. Yeah. Gus, I, I, heard, I heard Griff. I, I do that a lot. I do that a lot. Um, the next question is, what happened to Georgia and Utah? Uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I don't know why that was a question, but we know what happened to Georgia. We know what happened to Georgia. What happened to Georgia? Oh, it's on a thing. You can go look in the Easter egg. Watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> There's like an Easter egg on the DVD for season 10, I want to say. Yeah. Season nine. season 9? No, season 10 is when the Georgia joke was. Mm -hmm. And they were like, I was like, happened? I helped write that season. Don't tell me. He, wrote, he wrote the book he on it. He wrote the book on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. I, that's fair. <laughs> that's real fair. <laughs> you can just assume Eddie's wrong in this fan hall. You'll probably be right. Well, the... It, it is kind of confusing because we did do the Blue Universe thing. Oh, shit, I called it that. Um, the Red versus Blue Universe channel where we did have to give official titles to everything. So it's like, I call it Recollection because that's the saga is whatever. But yeah, we like it explains what happens to Georgia and Utah is there. So I'm pretty sure Utah is fine. But go watch the, if you watch the extra, you'll find out what happened to Georgia. RVB Blue Universe, yeah. Not yet, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The next, so that was from uh, Gordon King, so thank you for that. Question C, because they're not numbered, uh, is just, hello. Hi. 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 How's it going? Hi. That, that was literally the question from DC, so thank you. Hello to you, too. Um, and yeah, Josh, you had mentioned this earlier. What was the best and worst Halo game to use for Machinima? Yes. 
<laughs> Will Eddie continue? That was uh, from Obendi, so thank you. Uh, <laughs> did anyone want to elaborate, or is that the, what we're going with? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I stole it. They already answered it, yeah. Will Eddie continue to voice Lopez after his performance in Family Shatters? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep doing that. Yeah. yeah. We answered that already. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dubbing the whole. I'm dubbing the whole series. <laughs> <laughs> that was from uh, Roddick Toaster '69. So I don't. Are you? Is that like? I don't. I don't know if any of these people are here, but. Oh uh, yeah. Um, That's so possible. It's possible. <laughs> Um, Josh, do you think you could get a whole Q versus A episode out of the, the question that was high? Yeah, probably. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I yeah. think so. You could make something from nothing in red versus blue. <laughs> I, uh, That's a I, found, I found a question this morning on the subreddit, I think, and I sent it to, sent it to Josh, and I was like, can we do a Q versus A on this? Um, I don't know if we will, but we could. Uh, <laughs> So in Red versus Blue, the, the locations are usually just as important and entertaining as the characters. Blood Gulch and Mother of Invention. So are there, what types of new locations do you guys want to see the future of Red versus Blue take place in and what shenanigans do you expect will happen there? From Max. Hi, are you Max? Hi Max. Hey Max. Thank you for your question. <laughs> Thanks for the question. I did not read it, I did not read it accurately. But it was very well written, thank you. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, I always liked, right, like knowing when, you know, I always liked knowing when there was like some good bases and stuff to use. And I always like when there's um, knowing that there's kind of good cityscapes um, and things like that to work with, right? Because it's, it's kind of nice to like, uh, like the characters kind of are always in different variations of military bases. It's nice to have sets and to know that you have access to something that is uh, like more, it, it's just not the typical setting, right? So being able to put them in a, in a city place and then to, to have different interactions than they would normally have, that's always something that's nice to, to know you have access to. Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, yeah, any, any time that we can put them outside of, yeah, what, basically what Eddie just said. <laughs> like, uh, like in season 15 when we went to the uh, Samurai Fayellos, more stuff like that I think would be cool. Put them in real life. Just building out sets for more variation. Uh, yeah. A really big Costco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's nice. There, I think... There was an issue with you saying outside made me laugh because like when we were doing Q versus A, you just kept sending us and being like, there's nowhere to put them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, I can't, like the background is flickering and the lighting is bad and like, where do, where do they go? Yeah, trying to find a good spot for that was a, it was a challenge. I think also a lot more stuff inside I would like. Like, uh, you know, especially with the PSAs, um, they're always in Blood Gulch, so I've been trying to put them more like in red base or in blue base for some of that just visual like nice. distinction and stuff. Uh, a lot more interiors I'd like to do. I really like the Costco idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a military Costco. A military, oh, like an army surplus. Dream. Yeah. I was about to say, those, that, those, those stores exist, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they Free, do like, exist. weapons, samples everywhere, stuff like that. That sounds yeah. great. It writes itself. <laughs> See, this is why we have this panel. It's so that we can. This is Bullet, the writer's sir. room for the week. <laughs> what did you say? I said bullet, sir. <laughs> oh, um, so we actually. And the cauliflower pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, then you go and you like you have to get like the pe like it's a Costco, so there's going to be a food court. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so it sell it, like it only sells calzones. Okay. <laughs> This is writing itself. Yeah. See? No, we should do a panel where we just all write an RVP episode together. <laughs> just the RVP brainstorm. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got another box that we didn't throw out, right? We kept some. Yeah, we've got more stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I know we don't have, we don't have a setup for a QA, and a um, but we kind of wanted to do a We Ask You Questions for this, so uh, is it cool if they line up? If we wanna line up? We don't have a lot, so like, we're gonna ask you questions, guys. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. We only have this Whoa. one box. Whoa. Hey. 
Yes, please, please don't. <laughs> what did I just say? I don't know what time it is anymore. I have no idea how much time is left out. Okay. Help me. We're stuck here eternally. <laughs> they live there now, holding that, <laughs> holding that TV. That, that's fine. That's great. All right, your question. You're good. <laughs> so, who said the good guys win, the survivors all cheer, and everybody lives happily ever after, but the hero never gets to see that ending. He'll never know if their sacrifice was worth it. Ooh, that was a good one. I believe that one was Tucker. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's all right. But no, it's okay. <laughs> I was like, are you not going to give him anything? <laughs> <laughs> Harsh. Do you know who it was? It was Church. Yeah, it is. Church. Oh, this is a trivia line. Oh, okay. Trivia line. <laughs> trivia line. People I thought you were going like, to ask him, like, we don't like, have favorite color. Shirt, so yeah. much time. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Your question. What's two plus two. What seasons make up the chorus trilogy? The chorus trilogy is 11, 12, and 13. 11, 12, and 13. Nice. That is correct. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Are you okay? Are you okay? Please leave that way. Yeah. It's really dangerous. Oh, yeah. Please be <laughs> careful <laughs> walking yeah. around just, here. Just avoid this. Are you okay? Gravity yeah. is not okay right here. Please be careful. Yeah. Retrous. Do not. Please be careful, guys. We don't even need free stuff. We're just happy to be involved. <laughs> <laughs> but we want you to be safe more, more than yes. anything. So we actually answered this earlier. So hopefully you remember. What is the official title for seasons six through eight? You are correct. Is, nice. Uh, is, hang on, uh, bonus points. Bonus points. points. <laughs> it is reconstruction. He decided his own bonus points. Are you just going to like Eddie? Reconstruction and also... Oh, that's right. I remember. Relocation. No, I was wrong. Uh, I got it. Well, it's, what is it? Is that correct, guys? I don't actually know. Yeah, that's your question too. It's also these. Oh, there are pins! There are pins. <laughs> I didn't write that many questions. Uh, give us, give us a Q versus A episode concept. We may not use it. Just give us one. <laughs> <laughs> we hold all the rights. <laughs> All right, uh, I wrote say. that. Yeah. <laughs> um, who said that was the worst throw ever of all time? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Jake. Hello again. Hello again. What is Carolina's relationship to the director? He's her father. Correct. What? No, I'm just <laughs> Spoilers. Unless. <You> guys. <laughs> what is the name of the character that Texas is based on? Oh, shoot. Oh. No. It's not that. That's a weird name. I <laughs> forget. It's not that either. <laughs> Awesome. Love the teamwork. <laughs> oh, just making it extra hard. Oh, God. <laughs> you already have it. You already <laughs> have it. You have it. <laughs> I don't know. Don't walk through here. You get out while you can. This is the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> what, is your, what is your favorite quote from RVB? And it cannot be, why are we here? <laughs> Say it anyway. Say it anyway. <laughs> yeah, do it. See if she'll give it to you anyway. <laughs> That's pretty That's good. good, one. That's That's pretty good. good I will not be repeating that. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that is actually all the questions that I have, but I will continue to ask, what is your favorite RVB quote? <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. Amazing. What about you? What's your favorite RVB quote? <laughs> who, who, okay, next, what your question is, who said, not my fault, Tucker did it? 
Great job. Nice. <laughs> Do you have a quote for me? I have a pen for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go that Excellent. Way. Go that way. way. Go that way. <laughs> Recreated perfectly. Who said that? I feel like Do the next you know? person because that walks I through don't. this zone is going to disappear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like it. the entrance to the back rooms. Please stop. <laughs> A good one. Go. What about you? You got a quote for me? Protect me, phone. Who's, yeah, okay. Great one. Yeah. That was a great Who episode. Said that? <laughs> you seem to have a cold there, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your quote for me, sir? I'm gonna that was already taken! <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> Did you say too late? I already have the boner. <laughs> <laughs> nice! All right, what's your quote for me? <laughs> I have the boner. Whoa, awesome. Oh, yeah. There you go. Perfect. Amazing. <laughs> What's your favorite quote? Yeah. There you go. Blarg. Who said that? Who said blarg? You that just guy. did. Yeah. yeah. That's that guy said it. We all saw. <laughs> Trick question. What's your What's your quote? Okay. God damn it! I'm sick of answering that question. Talking. So, what are you doing? Nice. That is a long one. Well done. Who said it? Who said it? Who said that line? There you go. I think we have to wrap it up. So, unfortunately, I will not be taking any more questions or any more quotes. But here, no, wait, hold on, hold on. You stood in line. You stood in line. You can get more, you can still get the pins. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank Thanks you all so much. much for coming. Thank you all.